All right, so this is going to be a tutorial on the tracker bot layout, sort of all the settings and features and you know, the settings that I recommend using. Here we are on the dashboard. Uh, let me just sort of explain how this works. So up here, you've got your to total tracking numbers for your plan. This is on the trial right now, but you, I'm assuming, already have the uh, business plan because that is the one that includes Blue Care Express tracking. Uh, you can go for a bigger plan if you want but this is, this is the one that I'm recommending. So you'll notice right here that my limits are 10,000 tracking numbers and I have zero Blue Care Express tracking numbers. So total tracking numbers is the total number of tracking numbers that TrackerBot will automatically upload for you. So, you know, this plan includes uh, 1,500 per month and then I guess they're just giving you a really giant one because it's like a you know free trial plan. But like I said, we're using Blue Care tracking for everything. So that means that we're not going to be using this and we are instead going to be using this. So this one includes... 200 free Blue Care Express tracking. So as long as you have paid for that, uh, it should say right here, 200 Blue Care Express tracking, and then you can buy more. Blue Care Express is very important, and the reason that we use it is because it hides our item location for eBay. eBay has gotten really strict about item location recently, so if you say, I'm shipping this from California, and then eBay looks at the tracking number and says, oh wait, this wasn't actually shipped from California, this was shipped from Tennessee, then, oh no, bam, your account gets flagged, your sales drop off like a ton uh, to almost zero. It's pretty ridiculous. So to avoid getting flagged, what's really important is to make sure that you hide your item location using Blue Care tracking. TrackerBot gets your normal, you know, UPS, USPS, whatever tracking number from your email, and then they create a new Blue Care tracking number. And the Blue Care tracking number is just basically referencing the other tracking number without giving all the information. So uh, Blue Care tracking number is going to look something like this. Uh, this is, I just typed this out, so that's not, it, it won't look exactly like that, but you know, it's, it's something kind of like that. And uh, what you're going to do is then give that Blue Care Express number to your buyers. TrackerBot will upload it for you automatically to, to, you know, all your eBay sales. And then you just take that Blue Care Express number and buyers can track it using this Blue Care Express or using track, uh, 17track.net. But the uh, thing that's great about Blue Care is that all that Blue Care does is it says the package was received and then it shows the zip code that it was delivered to, but it doesn't show all the detailed tracking updates that you know USPS, FedEx, uh, you know any of the others would do. So Blue Care does not show where the item started out. It only shows where it was delivered. So because of that, and since Blue Care is a fully accepted carrier in eBay, if you upload all Blue Care tracking, then that makes it so that it's impossible for eBay to know if the item came from the stated item location or not because they can't even see it from the Blue Care tracking number. So that's why we're going to use all Blue Care. This number, you have to always make sure it stays above zero because if it gets to zero, then that means that uh, none of your new orders are going to actually be converted to Blue Care. And so those will just have no tracking numbers on them. So what you're going to want to do, uh, I would recommend coming in here and you can just buy some more. These tracking numbers actually do roll over when you buy them. So I would recommend just picking up a few just to make sure, because like I said, if you hit zero on your account, then uh, they just will not be uploading. You get two free with the uh, business plan anyway but if you're not sure uh, and you know you you're gonna want to make sure you know you stay on top of everything uh, and just don't let it hit zero because if it hits zero then you're not gonna be converting any new tracking numbers to blue care which is gonna cause you problems so uh, if you think that you're not going to be on top of it and you're gonna end up letting it hit zero then buy some extras as a buffer but if you're responsible and you know you're gonna be able to just stay on top of it then you're good so let's explain the rest of this layout here so if you've got additional eBay accounts. I only have the one right here right now, but uh, if you have more eBay accounts, then you can just add more and, you know, you can just keep linking uh, new eBay accounts. So let me get to that because that just actually is just redirecting to a different tab, but you can also drop down here and see. You can look at all accounts or a specific account. And then this right here is a graph of sales. So if you have 10 eBay accounts, you know, you could see them all right here and you could look at the sales from, you know, one specific account and see them on this graph. Or, uh, you know, you can just view all accounts at the same time, which is pretty dang convenient. So if you're averaging, you know, around, let's say, 20 sales a day on 10 accounts, then you're getting 200 sales a day. You can just see that right here, and it'll show you, you know, sort of the fluctuations on the dates, 30-day, uh, 7-day, 24-hour Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then also down here, you're going to be able to see records of every single sale and, you know, how much it was for and all that good stuff. But of course, it's not right here because this is just a brand new account that I created. The Get More Blue Care Here button does the same thing as this one, but I guess they just put it there to be convenient. And now messaging right here. This is a way to send out automatic messages to buyers after, like, certain conditions are met. So you can say, like, for the eBay account that's associated with this email or you can you know, apply it to every single eBay account. Um, you can say, if the buyer is from the United States, after they purchase an item, 
send this message. These uh, are like placeholders that will get replaced with the person's actual name. So if you want to use these, you're able to. I don't really use them, but uh, I've heard good things. You can send a message after an item's purchased, send a message after the item's shipped. You can even like include the tracking number with that and all that good stuff. Items delivered, uh, da da da, you know, whatever. You can use these settings however you want. AMZL monitor is super cool. You don't need it if you're using Blue Care Express like we are, so you're not really ever gonna use it, but I'll just go over a quick explanation of what it is. So uh, Amazon has its own uh, Amazon logistics carrier. So sometimes packages won't be shipped with UPS, USPS, or FedEx. Sometimes they'll be shipped with AMZL, TBA tracking or, uh, you know, Amazon logistics carrier. And that means that you don't get a tracking number that can be like publicly tracked uh, on the internet, which becomes a problem because then the buyer can say, oh, I never got the item. And you can't prove that they got it without giving access to your Amazon account, which doesn't work. So basically in the past, it was impossible or very, very difficult to uh, win cases with an AMZL, Amazon logistics tracking number. But TrackerBot came up with a solution for it. So th their solution is to make the AMZL tracking number also work with their website website monitortrackings.com. This is kind of sneaky. It looks just like a, uh, you know, a website where you can track your packages, but in this specific website, if you enter the AMZL tracking number and hit track it, since TrackerBot is already able to see your Google account, all the updates, and your eBay account and stuff like that, and knows what the number is, they can just show, basically pass all the tracking updates from Amazon straight on to uh, make the uh, tracking number show updates and publicly trackable with their own website here, monitortrackings.com. So uh, in the past, you know, this was a great solution because it, it just made your normal AMZL tracking numbers work and be trackable. But like I said, since we're hiding item location using Blue Care Tracking now, we're not really going to be using this, but it's nice to know that it's a feature that exists. Let's move on here to Feedback Reminder. Now, like with the uh, auto messaging, this is a feature that I do not personally use, but it is useful, so I will include it in the tutorial. So Feedback Reminder on this specific eBay account, or you can do all eBay accounts, and then you can say automatically send a feedback reminder after three days if the item's purchased, uh, and then, it, you know, this is the template for it. Hello, John Smith. Thank you for purchasing item title. If you're happy with your order, blah, 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 placeholders, uh, and then you can say send a second reminder five days after the first reminder or, you know, whatever. Um, don't send feedback for international shipments. And then you can blacklist buyers here, and they will be buyers who don't receive reminders. So um, I do not use this, but I would be interested to hear from people that do. So auto feedback here. This is just a way to automatically leave good feedback whenever a buyer buys something from your store. There is no way as a store to leave negative feedback. So you might as well just always leave positive feedback. As long as you're leaving positive feedback, uh, they're more likely to leave positive feedback for you. So I would just do that. I already set this up through Yabbly, so there's no reason for me to have it try to do it twice. So I'm not going to mess with this, but this is another way to do it if you don't do it through Yabbly. And it gives you, uh, I can't remember actually with Yabbly if it gives you options for customization for you know, a bunch of different messages. So I think TrackerBot might actually be a little bit more advanced. I think Yavali only gives you like one option, but set it up either way, but it's not really that big of a deal. So if you already set it up with Yavali like I recommended, then you're fine and you don't need to mess with it. Title Builder. Okay, so this is a cool feature, and this is more for people who are like trying to do their own research and are not doing sniper method, but it is pretty cool. So if you're just randomly guessing and listing items, which is not what you should be doing, uh, you should be using tools like Zik Analytics or Drop Source, but if you're just randomly guessing and listing items, then this is a pretty useful tool. You can just say you're selling a white table. The goal is to basically come up with an eBay title that is very well optimized to show up for what people are searching for. And I have another video in this course on how to show up at the top of eBay search results and how to optimize your titles. So uh, I will explain more of the details in there. But essentially, if you're trying to get some ideas of keywords that you can use, so we'll click search. And um, here we go. So these are some other recommended words that they have. And notice it generated a random title. I don't think you'd probably want to use this because it's pretty likely that it's got incorrect information in it, which would get you in trouble. But it could give you an idea. You know, you could you could start with this and then copy paste eBay and then be like, oh, foldable. Well, it's not foldable. So it is. But, you know, it's. But, you know, whatever. You, you can take it and adjust it and play with it. But it's a pretty cool feature because it goes from actual data, I believe, from eBay. And, you know, you can just 
Uh, these are some, some keywords that are highly searched for. So if you want to use that title builder, it is available. Copy paste tool, that's just their affiliate link for spot and paste. And then profile. So these are these are where you get to some of the settings. Now there are limits based on your plan here. So this, uh, if you got the business package, you are limited to 10 Gmail accounts. You only really are going to need probably one because we can do this all through one Amazon account. And then three eBay accounts. So if you have more accounts, you're going to need to get the baller plan or, you know, a bigger one. But I have 12, so I need the baller plan. So over here, you can add your new Gmail accounts. And it's, you know, it works the exact same way that we added this Gmail. You just click that and you add a new one. Uh, eBay accounts, you know, same thing. But of course, in the free trial, they're not going to let you do that. Uh, TrackerBot also works if you're selling on Amazon, but uh, I'm not going to talk about that because we are not selling on Amazon currently. And then let's move on to the eBay settings tab. All right, so this is the most important part. And uh, notice it's not actually letting me mess with these settings without upgrading my plan, but you can set the settings for all accounts or one account just like normal. And let me explain what these settings are. So replace Amazon uh, tracking numbers with Blue Care Express. So this would replace only Amazon logistics tracking. So it would leave USPS as is, uh, UPS as is, and FedEx as is, and then only replace ANZL Amazon logistics tracking with Blue Care Express tracking. That's not what you're going to want to do because we want to replace all tracking numbers with Blue Care Express tracking. So this is the little flip switch that you want to flip. Uh, so click on that, but like I said, it won't let me do it right now because I have to upgrade my plan. So flip that to replace every single tracking number at all that you get from Amazon with Blue Care. Um, and then this one is just if you wanted to upload Amazon tracking numbers as is. So they're basically, you know, the useless ANZL tracking numbers that are a really terrible idea to upload to eBay that will not work. But since we're using TrackerBot, you could use AMZL Monitor to, you know, win cases and stuff like that. But like I said, not what you're going to want to do. So you turn that off, flip this switch here, and turn on Blue Care Express for all tracking numbers. That's what you want. That's the only one. Flip that on, and then these two off. And then uh, this is just like a master switch for, like, should we upload trackings to eBay right now, yes or no. So if it's off... You are, you know, have paused all tracking. TrackerBot won't do anything. If you flip it on, then TrackerBot will fill in that tracking when you get new orders. Also, you got some rules here. So, if a tracking was uploaded manually, overwrite. Don't add new tracking. Add new tracking to existing one. I just, I just gonna do overwrite because TrackerBot is the only thing that will ever be doing this. Even if you're manually filling the order and RB ship fails. Uh, we'll still get an email with the tracking update and TrackerBot will be able to figure that out and put the correct tracking on the order. So no need to mess with tracking at all manually. TrackerBot takes care of it all. You're good. And then mark orders as shipped does not matter because we're already doing that with ArbyShip. But if you wanted to use this for some reason instead of ArbyShip, then I guess you could do that, but just, just do it through ArbyShip. All right, so that is TrackerBot. That's how it's laid out. That's how everything works. And uh, let's get on to the next section.